Let me first say that um, this is an independent board's decision, uh, and uh, we're not going to have any comment on the future of the former president's social media platform. That's a decision that uh, it sounds like the independent board punted back to Facebook to make in the next six months, as I know you all have reported. Um, the president's view is that um, the major platforms uh, have a responsibility uh, related to the health and safety of all Americans. Uh, to stop amplifying untrustworthy content, disinformation and misinformation, especially related to COVID-19, vaccinations, and elections. And we've seen that over the past several months. Broadly speaking, I'm not placing any blame on any individual or group. We've seen it from a number of sources. Uh, he also supports better privacy protections and a robust antitrust program. So his view is that there's more that needs to be done to ensure that this type of misinformation, disinformation, damaging, sometimes life-threatening information is not going out to the American public. You're saying more that needs to be done. Are there any concerns, though, about uh, First Amendment rights? And where does the White House draw the line on that? Well, look, I think we are, of course, a believer in First Amendment rights. I think what the decisions are that the social media platforms need to make is how they address the disinformation, misinformation, especially related to life-threatening issues like COVID-19 and vaccinations um, that are, are continue to proliferate.